for ads can help you get noticed online, but don't discount the power of organic content. I built my business online without paying a dime for years and I've built it to a seven figure business. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to market your business on social media for free. First, we're gonna dive into how to get started on social media and the number one mistake that people make when they're getting started. Then we'll talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of social media marketing. But spoiler alert, if you're a business owner and you want to get more sales, you should definitely be marketing your business on social media. And then we're gonna get into the top social media marketing tools that you can use to make your life easier, some that are free, some that are paid, and that are gonna help you to make a lot more money. Social media marketing, where do we start? Well, the best place to start is where your audience hangs out. Where is your audience? If you know your demographic, you know your customer avatar, what platforms are they spending time on? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Pinterest? Are they on Clubhouse? Definitely go where your audience is and decide where that is, where you're gonna focus your time. Now, there's nothing wrong with testing out different platforms, but when you're first starting, we obviously want the fastest path to cash. We wanna be able to reach the most people People and get the most return on our investment of time, of money, and on effort. So I would do a little bit of research to see where is your audience and where's the best way that you can reach them. I don't recommend just trying every single platform. I spent a lot of time when I first started on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I don't spend nearly any time on Twitter anymore. My people are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So that's where I focused more of my attention. And when you're first starting, especially that creating content can be a completely organic strategy, that's what's gonna be able to bring you a return on that investment. But here's the thing, here's the number one mistake that people make. Sometimes they feel like they have to be on every platform when they first get started, but they also feel this like pressure of, I need to look like I have a lot of followers. I need to look like I have credibility and that I know what I'm talking about, that lots of people follow me. And they fall into this trap of feeling like if you buy followers, it will appear like you have authority. But what it actually does is it totally tanks your engagement. It's kind of obvious to see who has paid for followers because maybe they have 10,000 followers but no one liking or commenting on their posts. So I highly recommend do not do that because even when you do have engaged followers, your engagement metrics are gonna be super low. And then how do you know how to scale if you can't see the accurate numbers to look at and improve? We always wanna monitor our metrics and if our metrics are skewed because we've paid for thousands of fake followers for vanity metrics, it's hard to know where to go from there. So don't do it. What I would recommend when you're first starting out is to create content that people want to follow. You're providing value. You are positioning yourself as an authority, as a leader in your space, that you're positioning yourself and painting this picture for your audience, showing them a future-based cause. This is something that Russell Brunson speaks about in his book, Expert Secrets, highly recommend it. In fact, I'll actually leave a link below where you can get the book and all you have to pay for is the shipping. So if you use my link, all you have to pay for is the shipping and be able to read that book because it speaks a lot about creating this future-based cause that your audience wants to follow because they want to be a part of it. The other thing to consider is your audience is probably following you because there's something about you that they might want to be like. Ask yourself, is your audience a previous version of you? And is your current reality their after picture that they're trying to get to. If you think about it that way, that your before picture is their current reality. And you've walked these footsteps, you've taken this path, and you as the leader of your movement get to show them, hey, here's what I've experienced, here's the answers and the solutions that I've come to, and I'll show you how you can too if you follow me, if you consume my content, if you join my email list, if you watch these videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how, and that's why people wanna follow you. It's because you're sharing those stories and showing them the future-based cause, the movement that they wanna be a part of, and positioning yourself as the undeniable leader and authority that they can trust. So how do you know what kind of content your audience wants to hear from you? Well, as you start to put out more content, you'll start to get responses to it. Maybe people will ask you questions and follow those breadcrumbs, those frequently asked questions that they're asking you is what they wanna know, the, the next 
next pieces of content that you can create. The other thing you can do is use tools like SEMrush or Google Keyword Research to see what are people actually searching for that you are an expert on that topic. And you can create content based on your personal experiences on that topic. Now, the most important thing that you need to keep in mind when marketing your business on social media is that yes, we want to create this content and share these stories on social media, but we want to convert them to our email list. If you can have a lead magnet or a freebie or send them to the next place where they can go, where they can get more value from you. And that leads them to your email list. That's how you know that you can actually build that relationship with people and nurture it towards a sale. When you post something on social media, it's not guaranteed that everyone that follows you is going to see it because well, social media is saturated. There's algorithms that get in the way, but when they're on your email list and you can send an email to their inbox, we know that it's going to reach them. Now, of course, there's things like, you know, junk folders and other emails that are landing in their inbox. That subject line is really important to get them to click and open. But when you own that email list, that is actually a contact that you own. You know what? God forbid, I hope that your Facebook account never gets shut down. But if something were to happen to Facebook or Instagram, all of those followers you've acquired could disappear tomorrow. And if you have an email list, that's how you know you can actually reach them anytime. The other thing with having them on your email list is that's not going to cost you anything to be able to email them. Sure. As your email list grows, your email software provider may cost a little bit more money, but the more people that join your email list, the bigger audience you have by that point, you should be making great money from them. So, you know, spending a hundred bucks or something to be able to continue nurturing them and selling them is going to be easy at that point. So that's one of the ways that you're going to be able to market your business online for free. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages to marketing your business on social media for free. There's advantages to free. There's also disadvantages to free. There's advantages to pay. There's also disadvantages to paid. So let's explore some of those. The advantages to marketing your business on social media for free is that, well, it's free and you can reach a lot of people but it's more time intensive. It's a consistent strategy that will stand the test of time, no matter what platform that you're on. You may also shift platforms, but it can take some time to be able to build that momentum. Once you have the momentum though, you just keep it going. Another disadvantage to marketing for free is that these platforms change. Algorithms can change. Even new platforms can come up that you might want to learn. Clubhouse is pretty new and, and a lot of my audience is going over there and it's a new platform that I have to learn. It's organic, it's free, but it's also moving my attention and having to decide which ones to spend my energy on. It's a little bit of a challenge. The advantage to new platforms is that you could have first mover advantage that if you strike while the iron is hot and maybe the people that got on clubhouse or on Pinterest or any platform, you name it when it first came out is you could have first mover advantage. You can become the category King quickly because there's less competition. Some advantages for paid marketing strategies is that can help you to grow really fast. I mean, yes, you're investing the money into it. So we want to be able to reach more people. The disadvantage is that it doesn't always work immediately. There's a learning curve to paid advertising. There's a learning curve to reaching the right audience. There's also things that can come up in the algorithm or trends that happen online that can totally change ad spend. I know that when I was advertising around Christmas or around cyber Monday, Monday, my ad spend shot through the roof because other people were putting a lot of ad spend into Facebook ads. Other retailers were putting a lot of ad spend there and there was a lot more competition. So it's never a set it and forget it strategy either. The other disadvantage to paid advertising is that ad accounts can get shut down. I've had my Facebook ad account shut down and sometimes it would take weeks or even months to get it back. And if you're just relying on that, you're hooped. <laughs> But free organic social media marketing is a consistent strategy and isn't going anywhere. There's new platforms coming up all the time, which can be seen as an advantage or a disadvantage. And before we get into the top social media marketing tools that you can use to up level your business, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you're a business owner and you're looking to grow and scale your business and learn how to create these infinite cash flow systems in your business, you're going to love this channel. So hit subscribe. I'm going to share with you some of the top social media marketing tools that you can consider that have helped me personally to grow my business. Now, a lot of these have free options and and paid options that I personally used the free version for as long as I could. And as I grew my business, then I might have decided to use the paid version to scale my business even more. The first one is Hootsuite. This is a social media scheduling tool and it does have a free plan. And if you want to be able to use more social media platforms and have more scheduling functionality, you can use the paid plan, which I believe starts at $49 a month, but you can absolutely use the free plan for as long as you need. My next favorite tool is active campaign. This is what I use for 
all of my email marketing, for me to send out newsletters, for me to have email automation, which is so valuable in growing your business and making sales. Now this one starts at $9 a month. And I know that's not free, but it is so worth it for you to be able to reach your audience. I've tried a few different email marketing softwares and active campaign, especially starting at $9 a month was a no brainer for me. Now that price will increase as you have more subscribers sign up for your email list. But by that point, the more people that are subscribed to your email list, they're typically more likely to become paying customers. So you're still gonna be able to get a good ROI there. My next favorite tool is ClickFunnels. This is a sales funnel software. Now they have a free trial that you can use and I'll include a link below for that because ClickFunnels alone has scaled my business more than any other software. We recently just achieved our second two comma club award from ClickFunnels, meaning that we have sold over a million dollars twice because we got two of these awards now through their sales funnels. So it is incredible software where you can get a 14 day free trial. After that, their lowest plan is $97 a month. But again, it's something that can really help you to scale your business. My next favorite tool is TubeBuddy. And this is one that I love to use for YouTube, for keyword research, for seeing how my audience is interacting and engaging with my videos, for split testing my thumbnails so that my videos can reach more people. There is a free version and there's paid versions. I'll include my link below for that as well. The next tool is SEMrush. And this is a tool that we use to do keyword research to see what kind of videos should I be making on my YouTube channel? What are the things that people are searching for? Knowing that YouTube is a search engine, we wanna be creating content that people are actually searching in those search engines. So I love SEMrush for that. And lastly, Facebook Creator Studio. This is completely free. It's included in your Facebook business account. It's how you can schedule your posts. You can look at your metrics, how your audience is engaging with you. It'll give you some suggestions for how you can grow your business on Facebook and also on Instagram because Facebook owns Instagram. If you wanna learn more about creating content that converts into cash flow and can actually help you create an infinite cash flow system in your business, I have a training on just the thing. If you click the link below, you can get access to that today for free.